In this video, I'm going to show how to place a photograph in Adobe Illustrator CS6 to use as a reference for creating your own illustration. I'm also going to go over how to use the basics of the selection tool and zooming, zoom tools. So first of all, I'm going to place my image. Um, I just have the artboard. I have the selection tool chosen. It doesn't really matter at this point. I'm going to go to File, Place. And then you just need to navigate to the place where you have the photograph that you want to place. Um, by default, you'll see that link is checked. If you're going to be using other computers or if there's a chance that you will delete or move that original photograph, I would encourage you to uncheck link. Um, you can later on embed the photograph. I'll show you how to do that right now in case you forget to uncheck that. Hit, go ahead and hit place. That places your image. Up here at the top, if you click embed, it will do the opposite of link. So now that picture is actually a part of that image. So if you don't, if it, embed is grayed out, then you're good, in good shape and your picture is not linked. So there's no chance that you will lose that image. Um, so now I need to resize my image just a little big. So I'm going to go to view zoom out. So view zoom out, if you note, the, the shortcut key is labeled right there. It's command minus for a Mac, control minus for a PC. So I'm just going to go command minus, command minus, or view zoom out, view zoom out until I see the whole picture. And that's good right there. So that's my whole picture. If I click on a white area, I have nothing selected. So um, I can just look at my picture. If I want to move my picture, I'm going to go to the selection tool. Make sure I'm on. Make sure you're on the black selection tool. That's the regular selection tool. If you click on anywhere in the middle of the picture, one time it selects the picture. You know it's selected because you see these white anchors um, on all four corners and in the middle of each side of the picture. You can also click and drag to move the picture and you can resize the picture so you can resize the picture by grabbing a corner and just dragging it and that will resize the picture now likely you don't want your image to skew like this so if you resize or move your picture and don't want that to happen just hit edit undo edit undo and it will undo what you did and you can go back to where you were um, so I want to scale this but keep it proportional so I'm going to do that by by grabbing a corner but I'm going to hold down shift and when I hold down shift you'll notice it keeps everything proportional so hold down the shift key on your keyboard as you drag then keep holding the shift key and let go of your mouse so you can grab another corner if you need to hold the shift key down just keep holding the shift key down until you get it sized the way you want it now if your if your image is off the edge of the artboard a little bit that's perfectly fine in fact the artboard really is just a guide for when you go to print the image so if you want the whole image to be full size you might have to do something like this where actually you're gonna cut off a piece of the image um, and that's perfectly fine it's just not gonna print whatever's not on the artboard it's only gonna print what's in the center of the artboard so get it placed just like you want it and then you can go view zoom in or you can go view fit artboard in window the shortcut key is command zero or control zero on a PC to fit that in a window and you can move it over a little bit more now I'm gonna do um, in the next video I'm gonna create layers and layers will help you to organize your work so I'm gonna cover that in the next video